This is the super stove, a reliable and easy to use means for you to produce free power. That's free power for lighting, hot water, cooking and heating, no matter where you are in the world. The super stove uses satellite grade technology to guarantee you this. If it can be burnt, it can become power for you to use however you see fit. No energy companies to rely on, just an uncomplicated and reliable innovation in technology. Not only maintenance free, but fully automatic without the need for battery or even outside power source. So it's just you and the elements living how you want to live. A wood burning stove is made to produce what we call radiant heat. And the super stove is no different, except that it's unique from other wood burning stoves in that it also produces power. It can even run a small central heating system and it does all of this through combustion. That is, whatever you can burn in the stove, it can transfer into power. Never has it been easier to tap into the energy, power and potential that exists all around us. Hello, I'm Howard, the founder and inventor of the Super Stove. Traditional forms of accessing power are becoming more and more expensive, with unpredictable and uncontrollable world events influencing costs of energy on an enormous scale. And the threat of power outage in some parts of the world also becoming all too real. Of course, solutions have always and will always come from human ingenuity in the face of strife. And I'm by no means the first to try and tackle this problem. Green energy has its place, but also its limitations. And nothing yet has come along that seems to pose a serious threat to traditional forms of energy production. Green energy, for example, is almost non-existent in the depth of winter. Indeed, when someone might need it most, with solar panels covered in snow, no wind for turbines and frozen rivers, this is when the super stove would come into its own. With the super stove, we're putting into practice the fact that most fuel is readily available and either inexpensive or free. And you can use that readily available fuel to charge your phone or iPad, to keep warm with the lights on in your garden office, to make a cup of coffee, a little lunch. The super stove does it all without the worry of energy meters soaring. No noise as the stove runs in complete silence. No need to run a noisy generator or engine just so you can do something as simple as seeing what you're doing in the dark. And with the pressures and strains and stress of modern day living increasingly taking its toll on our happiness, can you imagine how much more possible it would be to live away from all of that in a yurt or a large tent? The potential for new ways of living is truly incredible. By roundabout now, you're probably wondering how it works exactly. Using a refined combustion technology together with advanced purification system puts the super stove amongst the cleanest and most efficient wood burning stoves that exist. In fact, the stove has passed all of the up-to-date certification and can be used in most smoke control zones. Finding the perfect stove in which to put our technology was always going to be a challenge. But with the help, support and assistance and cooperation of the world-famous Morso Stoves of Denmark, said to be the best stove manufacturing company in the world, we have invented a thermal electric generator that fits inside the stove firebox fully capable of producing electricity and hot water. No other stove is fully automatic and has a generator built into the firebox. Indeed, the super stove is one of a kind. The stove has been trial burning wood, compacted straw, leaves and grass even. Any fuel with a calorific value makes electricity. If it's dry and combustible, it will make electricity. I imported some cow manure from India. Uh, uh, we tested it in the stove and it also made electricity. 
With convenience being such a big reason that we lean on energy companies, it was important that the stove's design and operation be simple and easy to use. Indeed, except to clean out the ash, the stove requires no maintenance. Once lit, the stove automatically switches on the power, turns on the water pumps by itself and continues to produce electricity while the fire is burning. As the fire dies down, the stove then automatically turns off the power and switches off the pump without any outside assistance. There are no switches to turn or buttons to press. Simple, accessible operation. Using a similar technology to most satellites, including the Pioneer 10, launched in 1972, the Pioneer 10 was powered by energy emitted from radioisotope, which produces the same intensity as the heat of the sun on one side of the satellite and uses the cold of outer space on the other. It travelled over 7.6 billion miles and lasted for more than 30 years before disappearing into the unknown. Just like Superstove, the satellite uses two fundamental properties of the natural world to ensure constant power, and that is heat and cold. The stove produces what we call thermal electricity, which is created by using the heat of the firebox on one side of a thermal plate with dissimilar metals in the middle and the cooling of liquid on the other, just like a thunderstorm, where a hot cloud meets a cold cloud and produces a bolt of lightning, electricity. The super stove works along similar lines and as mentioned, just like the satellite, which uses the freezing temperatures of space in conjunction with immense heat of the sun, those two properties are harnessed to create power. So we've spoken a little bit about the domestic application of the stove for individuals, but it's also important to consider global implications. The time for an invention or inventions like this is now. 1.5 billion people live without electricity. 3.5 billion people cook and heat on open fires every day. Pollution is high and global warming is taking its toll on human life. After a crisis, the first thing emergency services restore is electricity, heating and the ability to cook food and boil water. In cases of war, which are still an unfortunate reality in 2023, among the first military targets are infrastructure, and that involves a country's ability to produce energy, cut off energy and everything else follows. Once again, the super stove could become an important line of defence. As with most enormous leaps in human technology, things may start in the mind and even the workshop of one man, but it's with the support of many that these things truly take hold. And that's why today I'm asking you to become part of the Super Stove story and an integral part of the energy revolution. Although we have set our goal at £50,000, which will allow us to begin manufacturing the first line of Super Stoves, any pledges we receive over this amount will allow us to produce a higher volume of stoves at a much quicker rate. We believe we've got something special here something that could have immense potential. Because perhaps we do sit at a crossroads right now, one where we're faced with a choice as humans. Do we focus on fighting the old, or do we instead focus on building something new together? Come and be part of this with me. Come and be part of the Superstove.